Are you a Manhattan CEO? I have a question for you. Is it lonely at the top? My name's Mark Taylor. I'm a master Vistage chair. I run peer groups of like-minded CEOs because as a retired CEO, I know how lonely it can be at the top. Sometimes before I joined Vistage, I would talk to my wife about the issues and the challenges that I was having and, and she was very understanding and compassionate, but I didn't get the advice maybe that I was looking for. I tried a therapist, again, no real actionable advice that I could do anything about. I talked to my friends who were executives at large corporations and still they didn't understand what it's like to be facing decisions like, do I hire this new executive VP and at the same time take the money out of my kid's college savings account in order to pay for that person? What do I do right now in this situation? We have CEOs asking, do I lay off my employees? Do I wait for my PPP to maximize? Um, how do I get, um, you know, what do I do about systemic racism? Do I make a statement? Do I not make a statement? I mean, these are some of the issues that the CEOs in our groups are discussing with each other and getting unbiased feedback from each other. So if you're lonely at the top, my question is maybe you should consider joining or attending a, a Vistage meeting to see what it's like to be with a group of other CEOs who understand where you're coming from and might offer you some new perspectives and ideas that you can take advantage of. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm with Vistage, New York City.